Right, super quick video about this tent box. Kitchen box, um, because people have asked for it. So, uh, this is the unit itself, decent weight to it. Uh, it's not massive, it's quite short. Um, so, bending down to do this on the floor is, is not amazingly easy, but, um, you know, it is what it is. If I just show you on the floor, so sort of how low down that is, you know, trying to unpack that is, you know, it's not great, but there you go. Um, to release it, buckles on both sides. These side flaps actually hold the legs in place underneath, which we'll show you in a minute. So these little black buttons here, lift that up, you see that locking hinge up there. You push that down, that locks that into place. Same with them. And then when we lift up, let's get this the right way around so I can show you the kitchen unit once it's open. I'll lift that up. Legs come out on gas struts. Little extendable legs here, which need to be held out to use the kitchen, the, the leg in a minute, I'll show you. So that goes like that. And then on the cup drawer, you've got a little latch, which slides that out. You know, you've got your pan, lid, handle, a couple of bowls in there, and then your three burner stove, which apparently is a decent one, but I don't know, because I haven't got a gas canister to try it. So, right, right there is a perfect example of something I don't like about this. The leg. The leg doesn't latch in place. Um, so, if you're not wanting to use the leg, it sort of just dangles there. Um, yeah, not ideal. That would be better. Once it goes in, it does hold itself in, but you just got to be wary of that, because you don't want to break that off. Um, so yeah, that latches in there. You've got a bag, which has got um, spatula, condiment pots, um, some cutlery and stuff in there. It's mostly empty now because the pans are in there, so you could put some other stuff in there. Um, and then you've got your two folding chairs, which are actually decent quality, to be fair. Um, they're, uh, you know, they're quite solid, so cannot complain about those. Um, my only one gripe about this is packing it away. Um, it's a little bit awkward, to say the least. Um, so when you lift them legs up there, lift them legs up, these do not lock in on their own, as you can see. So the only way to lock them in is with the sides. So this is where I've been doing it. Maybe it's a stupid way of doing it, but it's the only way I can find of doing it. Not easy. And then you just push these hinges in. That locks that in place. Buckle. Buckle. So yeah, um, I guess the question is, is it worth it? Depends on the person really, which I know sounds open-ended, but um, for me, being self-employed, my time's obviously worth a certain amount. I've spent two days trying to make something similar to this uh, for my van, and um, I didn't get anywhere near. It was heavier, it was less compact. Um, yeah, just overall not not as well finished as this and obviously that two days that I've lost is worth something to me and it is to everyone um, so it depends how much, worth, how much your time's worth really in whether it's worth buying this or just buying something that you pack away every day um, you know like your like a one of these aluminium fold out tables from Gardos or whatever and a stove and some chairs and a box with other bits in it you know so it really depends um, if you were looking to get one anyway, I would say get one. They're pretty good quality. I don't know if they're made here. I don't know where they're made um, or who makes them. Uh, there is Chinese, Japanese, whatever writing on the box. So I would assume they've been bought from elsewhere and rebranded, uh, which I haven't really got a problem with if, as long as the quality is good enough um, you know, for the brand. You don't want to be selling substandard stuff. But... Um, it would be nice if they were open about that um, instead of you know making it out like it's been made here again I don't know that I could be wrong um, 
but yeah quite a good product um, I would buy it for £400 again which I did um, £500 a little bit of a stretch uh, for the retail price um, but yeah so yeah hope that was helpful and uh, I hope the audio was alright because I'm just recording it on my phone um, and yeah if you get one great if you don't get one get somewhere else Say a bit.